This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Benazir Bhutto is assassinated in Pakistan. Lebanon loses two lawmakers in political assassinations. Two governors get killed in Iraq. Is this a new phenomenon, or is it politics as usual? Answers to these questions and more in Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. A week has passed since the assassination of former Pakistani Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. Yet questions and speculations about her death are still being raised. Who killed Benazir Bhutto? How did she die? And could her death have been prevented? Most recently, Pakistani President Barbez Musharraf said Bhutto took excessive risks. And I conveyed this to her. There is no complicity. Would I or the government be the maximum gainer from doing this? Or would there be someone else who would gain more? Sadly, the truth is that her violent end could have been foretold with almost near certainty. For one thing, she did not have the military security and luck that have shielded General Barbez Musharraf from several assassination attempts. With some expense and planning, Benazir Bhutto too could have made better security arrangements, but faithfully, she seemed so driven to campaign relentlessly, even to be slowed down by the first attack on her life in Karachi in October, which resulted in 150 deaths. In truth, the real significance of this latest killing is that others are sure to follow in Pakistan and other parts of the Middle East. Let's take a look at the hard facts. Just a week before Bhutto's assassination on the day of the festival of Eid al-Adha, a suicide bomber attacked a mosque in Sharsada district. The intended victim, the former interior minister Aftab Sherpao, escaped unhurt, but the blast killed more than 50 people. Last October, Sherjan Mari, a prominent Pakistani politician of the ruling Pakistan Muslim League, was shot to death. I counted at least five other assassination attempts in Pakistan in 2007, and I'm certain I've missed a few. This phenomenon is, of course, not exclusive to Pakistan. In Lebanon, a spat of politically motivated assassinations has continued since the murder of former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri in February 2005. Lebanon lost two lawmakers in political assassinations last year. MP Walid Ido was killed in a car bomb in Beirut along with his son Khaled and eight others on June 13th. And MP Antoine Ghanem was assassinated in a bombing in Beirut's Christian neighborhood Sin al fil on September 19th. Not only politicians were targeted in Lebanon. Brigadier General Francois al Hajj, a senior commander in the Lebanese army, was killed in a bombing in Beirut suburb on December 12th. Hajj had been named a possible replacement for Army Commander Michel Suleiman, who is expected to be elected the next Lebanese president. Iraq also witnessed several assassinations in 2007. Brigadier General Qais al Ma'mouri, chief of police of Babel province, was killed on December 9th when five successive roadside bombs exploded, hitting his armored vehicle. Also, the governor of Al Muthanna province, Muhammad Ali Husseini, was killed by a roadside bomb on August 20th. Al Husseini was a member of the Supreme Islamic Iraqi Council, one of Iraq's main Shiite parties. He was the second governor of this powerful party to be killed within 10 days, and the list goes on. Politically motivated assassinations also occurred in Algeria, Afghanistan, Somalia, and other places in the region. The fact of the matter, Political assassinations have become the favorite tool for eliminating the opposition in the Middle East and beyond. I'm Jamal Dejani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mosaic. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.